Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Dennis Jones with GamerFusion.com bringing you more Nintendo news and guys, oh my gosh, uh, this is might be old news now, but uh, it, I'm just looking at Cerebi.net and they have seen Koro Koro reveals for new Megaform Pokemon and other new details as well for the upcoming game. Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. We well, let's start off with uh, the Pokemon that's most deserving, I think, in my opinion, most deserving to getting a mega form, a mega form, and that's Mega Altaria, who becomes Dragon Fairy typing with Pixelate. Now the Pixelate ability uh, changes all normal type moves into Fairy type moves, so that is going to be exciting. And the type matching for dra for f Dragon Fairy? Like, what? Ah, my brain does not compute that, but oh my gosh! It's going to be awesome. Now the next Mega Form that we have here is uh, Mega Lopunny. Or Lupunny. I'm not sure how to say that. She becomes, or it becomes, normal fighting and has the Scrappy ability. Now Scrappy ability makes... Uh, it's so that you can attack you can attack ghost types with normal type attacks and fighting type attacks. So that's uh, probably going to be a good thing for Lopunny, uh, which is is cool. And the last mega form that was revealed or leaked with your Coral Coral, I guess, is Mega Salamence. Now, in Mega Salamence, it doesn't look like he changes typing, but he does get the ability Aerialite, which, uh, from what I understand, it, it uh... Aerialite changes normal type moves to fly type moves, so since he's going to be dragon flying still yet, that would be very beneficial to Salamence. Now, Salamence's design looks kind of strange to me. He looks like a kite or a plane. <laughs> I'm leaving on a Salamence plane? What? Uh, no, I'll be back again. I do like Lopunny's design. That thing looks like a f looked like a fighting type when I first looked at its image. What happened when I first saw these things, I saw them on Twitter. And I did not know any of this other information until I went to Cerebi.net. But anyway, um, I was my first instinct that that thing looks like a fighter and it looks like it's going to destroy things. Oh my gosh. And Mega Ulteria... Uh, uh, Mega Ulteria... It looks like it became more fluffy and something I would like to sleep upon. <laughs> you know, this is so soft and feathery and cloudy. It just looks so nice. I don't know how else to put that other than now this uh, video has become awkward. But anyway, there is some more other details that has been released through Cora Coral. We've seen the uh, different Pikachu cosplay characters. Rockstar Pikachu and so on. Well, it turns out that they get moves. So Rockstar Pikachu gets the move Meteor Ma gets the move Meteor Mash, and you, these moves can be used in battle. By the way, you can have your Pikachu in your in its cosplay in a battle. So oh, yeah, so yeah, that all that that's all the way. Yes, Rockstar Pikachu gets Meteor Mash, which would be cool. Pikachu PhD knows Electric Terrain. Uh, Pikachu Pop Star knows Draining Kiss. I guess that's quite appropriate because it's a pop star. <laughs> uh, Pikachu Bell knows Icicle Crush, which that seems like it's quite going to be quite the threat to other P Pokemon. And Pikachu Libre gets the Flying Press move. So that's going to be an interesting thing. And another final detail is that uh, you meet a character called the Contest Idol. Her name is Lucia, who gives you special clothes for participating in Pokemon contests. Most likely the clothes for the Pikachus. Um, the other thing you can get through an event in-game, it doesn't really say if it's in-game or if it's going to be a Nintendo Wi-Fi distribution event, but you are going to be getting a shiny Beldum through this event, and this shiny Beldum is holding the Megastone for Metagross. 
So that is also in itself very, very exciting. So guys, keep the discussion going in the comments below. Let me know which poke, which of these three megas you think was most deserving of its mega form, and which one is going to be OP. I uh, definitely think uh, Mega Salamence is going to be ridiculous, and it's going to be so much overpowered. It'll be no one, nobody's. Like nobody's, ha! Ah, it'll be so overpowered. It'll be nobody's. Ah! I don't even know what I'm trying to say here. It'll be so overpowered, like nobody's business. Uh, Mega Gross might be also very OP. Mega Mega Gross, that is. And what do you think about these contests and these special moves for the different cosplayed Pikachu's? And yeah, and how cool it is that we'll be everyone will be getting a shiny Beldum. Because shinies are super rare, but I guess, yeah, I guess it doesn't make this shiny very rare after all. But anyway, ah, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember that Gamer Fusion empowers your gaming, and we'll see you guys in the next episode of Nintendo News. Thanks for watching. Hello, and this is the end card, where you have a couple things to click on. To the left are three different LPs I'm working on, Project Cross Zone, Dylan's Rolling Western, and Pokemon X. And yeah, you can check me out on my uh, social media on the left. Thank you guys so much for watching, and bye-bye.